well, you're really going to hate me now. Because pretty much a lot of stuff gets gold, uh, gets stars. Before I go any further, i got to remind you, and I'll remind you every time I do this, that stars does not predict what's on the exam. When I put stars on a study goal, I'm just telling you, hey, make sure your notes are extra good. Talk to other people. Double check your notes. See if anybody else has any advice for you. But a star means you got to have extra bonus, super good, triply excellent notes. So check your notes on in order of the study guide, community level interactions, engineer species, predator effect, watershed. I'm going in the order of the vocab, so that's community level interactions. Engineer species, predator effect, watershed. Exponential growth, important concept to note. Macronutrients, the plate boundaries, like divergent, convergent, and transform. Upwelling, key concept, comes up often in my class. Number three, the cool thing about the sea otters, probably kind of not too difficult. And check your notes when we talked about community level interactions in my class. Remember I added um, species that affect each other's habitat, that cycle nutrients, how pollination is a really important one, um, making the uh, soil more absorbent to water, uh, engineering the bayou, like how all that stuff. Uh, number six, uh, positive and negative feedback. Remember that those are feedback loops. It's not like commentary that's nice or flattering or mean or hurtful, but instead um, when the output of a cycle um, affects the input by making more or less of that cycle. Seven and eight each get a star, and I gotta warn you, the rule of 70, I never understood why students um, um, have so much confusion about it. It's not that the math is tricky. You just got to know what we're talking about. Doubling time is how long it takes to double something when it's growing at some percentage rate. Things grow like in a checking account or populations grow or your weight might grow or populations are kind of the most common one. Rule of 70 is used on every single AP, te uh, AP test. Excuse me. 70 divided by the growth rate, which you write as a percentage, gives you the doubling time. And remember that populations will quadruple in two doubling times. Um, in number 12, I think I confused everybody. How much time chemicals spend in each part of the biogeochemical cycle? I should have just said relatively how much time briefly in the atmosphere for a really long time in the lithosphere, in um, the biosphere, and the hydrosphere, somewhere in the middle. Uh, the big six macronutrients, everybody has to know and you all have to know what they're used for. Then, I'm really sorry, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's so much notes, you just got to have notes because it's like a lot of notes. And in the reading packet, all those different keystone species are just kind of interesting. I don't know if that's all the keystone species you'd have to know, but those are some famous ones. Um, 24 and 25 are, uh, also get a star. Um, because they talk about that chemistry of carbon in the ocean and acidity and pH in the ocean and calcium carbonate. Um, I know that a lot of you are stressed about the chemistry in this class. Remember, you don't have to explain why the chemistry happens. And if you look at the amount of stuff that you have to memorize, it's actually not that much. Uh, a lot of you already understand chemistry, so it all makes sense. If you don't, it's probably less than you would memorize like on a random everyday high school history class or something. I hope it's not too much. I know it's intimidating, but I know you can do it too. So. Um, Okay, good luck studying. Um, for the next section, I need to make sure that uh, we are, we're all on the same page. Uh, you can do whatever you got to do. Talk to the substitute and the TA, take a little break, whatever you need. And then when you come back, I'll need you to have put away your cell phones. And Mr. Archuleta will look around so that you can convince him that you've put away your cell phones. You may want to wave it up to him and then show him that you're going to put it in your backpack or your purse or underneath your desk or something because I don't want it on your lap. I don't want it in your pocket. I definitely don't want it on your desk. I want cell phones to get put away. Then we'll come back to the next video. It'll be, I think, our second to last or maybe even our last video. We might even finish early today and you get some chill time. Okay, here we go.